Jesus Christ is here. Yeah. If you are sick, believe that Jesus Christ healed you already. Amen. If you have any problem, believe that Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ died for you. Nobody dies for you. It's Jesus Christ who died for you. Everything that you have, Jesus Christ take care of that. Do you believe that? Yeah. Let's pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning. We know you are among your people. You know that you are with us this morning, God. Come take preeminence, O Lord Jesus Christ. Your people, they came to your house for their blessing, for their correction. God, I believe this morning, I believe today is the day that they will go for testimony that God was here and God hear their prayers and God answer their prayers because you are a God of paradox. I believe this morning, God, nothing can hinder your, 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 your word. Nothing can hinder you, oh God. We are your children. We want your blessing. Come take control, oh Lord. Take me out of the way. Take control, oh God. Speak to your people. Let your people be blessed. Let your people be healed. I ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let God bless you. Amen. We repeat only the message. Amen. 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 We don't repeat God bless you the second time for you to answer. I've noticed. When the song leader says, God bless you, nobody responds. The second time, you respond. The, 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 uh, the superintendent, when he came here, the same thing. The first time he said, God bless you, nobody's responding. The second time, that way you respond. The same thing. God bless you. God bless you. Say, God bless you. Amen. 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 We are the people of God. We are alive. Take all your things, all your burden, give it to Jesus Christ. Nobody can resolve your problem. Amen? It's Jesus Christ. He said it in the Bible. Bring all to me. Amen? We have people that know the word of God. So we thank God. As we are standing, let's open our Bible in the book of Matthew. Matthew 5. 46 to 48. While you are, uh, before we read, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. One more time, we thank God for giving us this opportunity to be in his house. Amen. Amen. House of blessing, house of correction as well. Amen. So let's be connected to the word of God and preach with me. God will help us. God will bless us. So let me read the word of God in Matthew 5, 46 to 48. The Bible said this. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, why do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Amen. Let God add blessing on the, word, the reading of the word. Maybe take your seat. Amen. I was meditating on this, uh, and then I've drawn my inspiration on the message that the prophet preached. The perfection is where I've drawn my inspiration that I want to share with you this morning. Amen? So preach with me and then we'll enjoy the message. If you don't preach with me, you can sleep, you start sleeping. Just preach with me. Amen, 
I uh, yesterday I spoke with Brother George, he's a pastor in Belgium. He just uh, want me to greet you also this morning. Do you receive the, the greetings? Amen. Amen. <laughs> you receive the greetings from somebody else. Amen? Okay, no, yes. And also, I am so happy by the song that the song uh, leader gave us before he called Brother Sasu. Uh, that one linked to my inspiration as well. Amen. Seeking first the kingdom of God. And we are going to talk about the perfection. Amen. Prophet said that it's on the perfection, it's on the perfect people that will go there. Because that place is perfect place. Amen. Amen. It's not you who can make it by your own. No. It's not by your goodness. No. It's only Jesus Christ in you. Amen. If Jesus Christ is in you, then you can make it. Amen. 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 Not to you. Amen, Seek first the kingdom of God. Is what we're going to talk this morning in a few minutes. And also the question I have is this one. When Brother Daniel was, pre was praying, it was a good prayer. Do you believe on that prayer? I was connected to that prayer too. I know I believe on that. And then everything that he said, I believe that God will give us. Amen? So let's go to what I've prepared to share with you this morning. The prophet said God requires perfection. For you to go to heaven, you need to be perfected. In the book of Matthew that we read, we saw that the, the Bible is clear. It's saying that let be perfect as our Father is also perfect. Our Father is God. Our Father is Jesus Christ. So we are going to see how can we be, how are we going to be perfect? The prophet said in the message, the marriage of the lamb, preached in 1962. He said, I'm just paraphrasing what he said. People are boasting today because they go to the big churches. They are boasting themselves. I'm going to make a bold statement and say that doing it but the prophet said, we need the Holy Ghost. We need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That it will bring us to ask somebody who is not like you. We are not going to boast ourselves because our church is a big church in the city. Our church you have more people coming to that church. If you have the Holy Ghost, you are not going to say that. And what makes you to hug your brother and call that person that does not, is, is, he doesn't have expensive clothes? Because you wear good clothes, you wear expensive clothes, you have a big degrees, you have a big cars, you cannot hug your brother you cannot argue your sister. That shows that the Holy Ghost is not in you. Amen. That goes you are not perfected yet. Because if you are perfected, if the word of God is in you, the prophet said, you argue your brother. You tell him, I love you. Amen. 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 How many people we love? The Bible says, even the public can do that. If you can just select a group of people that you love. I love this brother because we came to the same country. I love this brother because we work the same place. I love this brother because we have the same level, education level. That means that you are not perfected. You don't have the spirit of God in you. If you have the spirit of God in you, you see this brother is my brother. This sister is my sister, regardless where we came from. Where are we coming from? Heaven. 
If you know that I'm coming from heaven, and then you are coming from heaven, my brother, I will argue. Depending where you fellowship, that is also another problem. Because I'm here in CFT, I cannot ask somebody in that church. No. The church is just names. But what is in us is the word of God. Over there, they preach the word of God. Here, we preach the word of God. If we read word of God, if we word of God, we argue. Amen. So, the prophet said this. In the beginning, in the Garden of Eden, everything was perfect. There were no sin. The perfection was there. Because when we talk about the perfection, there is no sin. Amen. When we talk about the perfection, there is no sin. And that church that God wants to see, if that church does, doesn't have an uncle, that church doesn't have anything, that church is clean. Amen. Because Jesus Christ himself is clean. And then when Jesus Christ is in you, hallelujah, God doesn't see you. Amen. God doesn't see you. It's the devil who can come to God and then say, because you have done this to that brother. Reason why he likes you. Reason why he's obeying you. It's not because what you have. Yeah. It's not because who you are. Yeah. No. It's the blood of Jesus Christ himself. Yeah. Now, you need to recognize that. Amen. 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 The prophet say your healing, your salvation is already there. It's yourself to accept it. Amen. Amen. Nobody will accept it for you. Yourself. This morning. Who is Jesus Christ to you? This morning. Oh, Calvary, what Calvary means to you this morning. Let's go back to, to the Garden of Eden. Everything was perfect. Perfect. No sin, no sickness, nothing. Harmony. God himself was coming to fellowship with his children. Amen. When the sin comes in, God back up. Because God doesn't like sin. The same thing you and me. When we are sinners, God back up. You are by your own now. But because God is love, He could not leave His children like that because He said He is the Savior. Amen? You need to come, save His people. He came through Jesus Christ and then save them. Hallelujah. It's the same thing He's doing, he's doing it today. Remember, the Bible says, Nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. What the Bible says. You and me, we are not perfect. Is what the Bible says. Now, the prophet is telling us to go to heaven, you need to be perfect. Very complicated now. But the Bible says, nobody is perfect. You are not perfect. I am not perfect. Now the prophet is coming. He's telling you, you need to go to heaven. But you to go to heaven, you need to be perfect. How are you going to be perfect? When the Bible says nobody is perfect. In the book of Luke 18, 19. Nobody is perfect. This morning. Are you perfect? Or you are not? I can say for myself. I am perfect. I can say for myself, I am perfect. Amen. Are you perfect? Thank God. How are we going to be perfect? How are we going to make it to the heaven? Oh, my brother. Thank God. Because we have the prophet. The prophet now is explaining in a message. It is the rising of the sun. 650418, paragraph 182. Before they project that, let me make the way I speak. The prophet said clearly, 
We are going. We are not going to make it by titles. No, sir. No. Amen. Not by titles. Shalom, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rafad. Not by those titles. Though those titles belong to God. But we are not going to make it by those titles. Amen. Because of what? Because the name was given to us. That name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's go. So I prepare my sermon in French. And <laughs> what I've done this morning was just to make it in English. So bear with me, okay? So remember that I still have that accent. I still have those, those French, 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 French. So you take time for me to be like you. Okay, let's go here. So the prophet said yes, here. He says here. We are going to read a lot, and then we are going to read some verses, and then so the way you know how the way I preach. Salvation alone goes in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Not the title. No. The name of Jesus Christ. Christ, they all, not my name, not the name of the prophet, but the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. There is not another name, no church, no archive, no titles, or nothing else yet. Yet, he is the rose of Shalom, Lily of the Valley, Morning Star, Alpha, Omega, Beginning and the end, the ending, Jehovah, Jaira, Rafa. Go down, my friend. Go, go quick. We don't have time. But I say, all those, is all those things. But yet, he, there is not no salvation in any of those. I made it. I, I made it. You read it over there. Amen. Amen. No title. The name was given. When you go to the book of Colossians, I think 3, I think 3.19, or 3, Colossians 3, say, everything you do, do it by the name of Jesus Christ. Reason why we give baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Because it's written there in Colossians. Amen. Let's go. No salvation. Father, Son, Oh, Holy Ghost, no salvation. Only the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible said that repentance and remission of sin must be taught in his name. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's what I said. The first time, is the second time that you catch it. I was not lying. It's my observation. And you note it. <laughs> Let's go. Now, notice. Do not look what the devil will say to you. No. Amen? Amen? This morning, the devil. Okay, let me ask this question. I watch my time. When my time is over, I will stop, okay? Amen. I like to preach this. It's like the, I'm traveling. So let's just warm it up to all of us. Amen. So, nobody has seen God. Right? Nobody has seen the devil. Right? Okay. Who's that God? Who's that devil? All are spirits. God is spirit. The devil also is spirit. Right? We cannot see spirits. You can't see spirits. You can't. But we see the manifestation of spirit in reason why I say, oh, brother, this is a, a man of God. This is a son of God. This is a daughter of God. Because of what I see the manifestation of the spirit in you. Amen. I can say also, this is the devil. Amen. Why? Because I see what you are doing is not in the word. We need to be very, very careful. Like Joke, brother Joke said last time, everything we do must be in the Everything. You as a son of God, me as a son of God, a daughter of God, everything. Check yourself. Is God 
allowed me to do this or not? And the prophet said that everything you do, make, just think yourself that if Jesus can do it. Think yourself if Jesus can do it. I'm going to the stadium to watch the football. Don't question yourself. God, can God go to the stadium watch soccer? Answer your question. Answer that question yourself. I'll answer also myself. I don't believe that you will go there. But if you believe you will go there, continue going there. Continue going there. That shows the spirit that is in you. I will not go to the stadium, okay? I'll go to church. Amen. Oh, let's continue. Don't listen to the devil, okay? But look unto Jesus. God doesn't seize you, okay? Prophet says somewhere, he said that. God doesn't even... Uh, uh, doesn't pay attention. Let me make it that way. Your clothes, and even the gift, God doesn't pay attention on that. God only pay attention on his word. Now, if the word of God is in you, you see the manifestation. Amen. You start dressing well. Yeah, amen? You start talking well, like Jesus Christ. That we see the manifestation, because the manifestation is God. The power of transformation. The prophet preached about that. Of transformation. How can it be transformed since you believe this message? I believe since two, 1999. I believe since this, 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 this. Oh, I received the Holy Ghost. But we don't see the fruit of the Holy Ghost in you. Even though you claim that you believe the message. We, that one it doesn't, say, doesn't do me anything. What I want to see in you, I want to see the life of Christ in you. Amen. That one, I can say you are an ambassador of Christ. Amen. Amen. But because you are among the people, you can have my, uh, 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 my, my temperature. Let me say that way. Yeah? Because I'm warm, right? You are cold. When we sit together, I transfer that it to you, right? And then they will call you sister, they will call you brother, you say amen. Yes, but just travel. Just travel. Go somewhere where that brother is not there. That heat is not coming. Go there and then we'll see. The reason why people from Africa, they think that people outside of that, those churches, we don't pray. We don't, we don't pray. But the bride is everywhere. I am the bride of Christ. I have experience with God myself. I know what I'm talking about. Amen? Don't, don't waste our time. Let's go here. We have a lot of things to say. We are talking about the perfection. Don't see God. Don't God, don't, don't devil deceive you. Because what God sees, he sees his word. He does sees you. He sees his word. My word, I project that, 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 that message. The, the law having a shadow. 54.12.03, paragraph 39. God doesn't look at us. Because you have a big head, because you have a big car, you have a big diploma, God doesn't look those things. God look what? His word. In you. Because he is word. You find it? It's projected. He is word, you word, and then what? He just see the word. He doesn't care about to, you know, when you are driving, you use the GPS, whatever. They put up there, you no know, satellite, they put something that connects to that GPS. Yeah. And they push you to drive, right? The same thing for God. He doesn't care about, to, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. No, God cares about his word. But if you are a son of God, the word of God in you, you act like the Bible. You act like what God wants you to do. To, that's it. You cannot tell me you are wearing a short skirt and not say that I have a Holy Ghost. No, 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 no. It's contradiction. It contradicts it's contradic contradict itself. Okay, let's go here. Notice. But one lamb every year. That was what, is hap what was happening. Every year, they need to give sacrifice. Take the lamb. Go kill the lamb. 
put your hand on top of the lamp, have blood. But your sin was not forgiven. Amen. Your sin was there. But Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ came, you believe Jesus Christ, your sin is forgiven forever. God will not, one day, one day, God will not tell you again, you know you did this, you did this. No, 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 no. It's us, us, us human beings. That I can, you know, that day, you know, you don't give me pizza. You know, that day, you don't do this. If you know, I forgive you. If, you know, I, I already forgive you. But you remember that day, you did this. That's human being. I already forgive you, but I'm just telling you what happened. We, did, we do that, right? You know, brother, you know, the Bible said that for, I already forgive you. But, you know, that day, you did this, 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 this. Not God. Not God. God doesn't do that. Okay? But we go. We read with you. What did God now require us for him to forgive you forever? Amen? You say, no, no, no. No, man, I'm already God forgive. No, we need to know how God forgive you. And forever. Now when the devil comes now, because God already forgive you, Came late. Let's go here. Notice. But one lamb every year. They come and made another offering. Every year come back and make another offering. Every year make it in remembrance of sin. But this man, after one time offering up his blood, sat down at the right hand of God in the majesty of high and has perfected forever every believer. That is come and been born again of the Spirit of God. Here, read yourself. The prophet said, when you're reading, bring your conclusion. What is your conclusion here? Today, people, they will tell you, in the throne of God, the Bible says, it's only one man that is in the throne of God. It's only one man. It's why now people, they are confused. They are very, very confused. Jesus Christ is the son. Jesus Christ is not God. Jesus Christ is this and that. Yes, let them be confused. But us, we are not confused. Because the prophet explained to us what is written in the Bible. In the throne of God, there's only one man. And Jesus Christ said himself, I'm going, it's better for me to go to prepare a place. And then I'll come back to, ah, preach with me now, to take you, okay? And then where, where, where is he? Where is Jesus Christ? Not in the throne. Where is he? Because God himself is the throne, right? So now when Jesus Christ goes to the throne, how many people in the throne? Let's read it. Here we already got the conclusion. They, so they, 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 you, you already draw your conclusion, right? Let's go. Uh, uh, what I'm talking, let's go. Psalm, uh, Psalm 110. Psalm 110. Don't let people outside confuse you. In the throne of God, one man. That man is Jesus Christ. That man is Jesus Christ. Let's go here. Ten. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. When you read this, until I make thine enemies that foot stool. It looks like there are two people. Just come sit on my right hand. I say, oh, please come sit on my right hand. That, how many people? Two, no, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to Revelation 4.12. Revelation, Revelation. Revelation 4, 2. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one. one. Hallelujah. Amen. Sat on the throne. When we read Psalm 110. 
looks like there are two people. Now, when we read Revelation 4, 2, it's clear. There is no explanation here. One, mess, one person, one man sat there. That's it. And that man who sat there is the one who is perfect. Is the one who is praying for you, for your sin. Is the one who is praying to God. There's no two God over there. It's the same person, but acting. You know, I'm here like a preacher. Right now, I'm preaching to you. I'm a preacher. As soon as I leave this pulpit, I'm a father. As soon as I leave this pulpit, I'm a husband of somebody. As soon as I leave this pulpit, I'm a friend of somebody. I'm an uncle. I'm a grandpa. I am a grandpa. Hallelujah. I feel how the grandpa felt. I feel it. I am a grandpa. <laughs> we thank God for that. Okay. Now, even the Bible says in the book of Acts 3, 19, 23, the Bible is clear over there. Jesus Christ is received to heaven. Okay? Who is that Jesus Christ? It's the body. Because he said to himself, I'm going to prepare a place. Is that Jesus Christ that he went up to now? He never come back. That Jesus Christ who went there, he never come back up to now. Physically, he never come back. Amen? Let's read here. The Bible said this. Repent for you to be perfect. For that perfection to take place in you. You need to be, you need to what? To repent. Ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Because to go to heaven, you should not have any seed. But for your sin to be forgotten or blotted out, you need to do what? To repent and convert it. Amen. And then, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, Let's go to 20. And he shall send Jesus Christ. You see? For the time of refreshment. When you go to the party, they give you some food, they give you drink. What are you doing there? Refreshment. But before that time to come, Jesus Christ is where? And he shall send Jesus Christ. He shall send him. Where is he now? Let's go. Who the heaven do what? Until the time of what? In which time are we now now? In which time are we in now? In which time are we in now? The time of restitution. That means the time of restoration. Amen? Restitution and restoration is the same. The prophet come to do what? To restore. to restore. You see? Physically, we don't have him now. We have him in form of spirit. The word of God I'm talking to you now is Jesus Christ. Amen. Spiritually speaking. Amen? Amen? So he's there waiting until you and me be restored. By who? By the message. By the word, amen. In the word of God that restores you. Amen. And that word of God was given to somebody. Was not given to apostle. Was not given to the pastor. Was not given to any means. That word of God, the way we believe, was given to the prophet. Is what we believe. Amen. Now if the prophet brings that word to you, what is required to you is to believe all the word. All. If you don't know, you know, brother, in our church, we don't see it this way. You know, this one is not in the Bible. This one, this one, that is you. But in this church, it's church of Malachi 4. Everything the prophet said. Everything the prophet said. Let me, let me take out said. 
everything the prophet says, we believe it 100%. If you don't believe it, you are wasting your time here. Like Brother Marion said, if you love yourself, you like your soul, if you don't believe what we preach here, you are wasting your time. Amen. We are not here like a congregation, like just fellowship, no. We are fellowshipping around the word of God. That word of God is Malachi 4. It's not my word. Amen. And the pro- let me just, because it's almost 12. And you know, if you, let me just take stuff. Pa, 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 pa. It's not even my ministry. Okay? It's not even my ministry that perfects you. It's the word of God that perfects you. Today, people are boasting themselves. I am a pastor. I'm an evangelist. I'm a doctor. I'm a this and that. You, be, you forget that you are like. You are like. This is what the Bible says, right? You are like a man. Are you a man? You are like a children. Are you a children? No. There is one man, Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus Christ himself today is the word of God. Now, to, 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 to differentiate the way we walk, this one, this one is an evangelist. This one is a pastor. This one is a, to, for, to, to differentiate the, the way we walk. But all of us, what perfects you is not because I'm, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an evangelist, because I'm a pastor, because I'm a Dios and that, that perfects you. No. The one perfects you is the way that I bring out, in the way that I receive. Now, when I come to you, I walk like a. Hey, Amen? Don't be deceived on that. So we pass that one. Now, let us have faith on the finishing work of Calvary. If we don't have faith on that, we are wasting our time. And our ministry here have a role to play. Our ministry has a role to play. The ministry of Brother Branham has a role to play. To play is to show you Jesus Christ. The same thing this morning. The message that we are talking is to show Jesus Christ. Because we know one day we'll be leaving this earth and then going to heaven. How are we going to heaven if you are not perfect? Ah, the prophet said this. In the message, the authority of the word, the prophet said, pastors and so, he said, teachers and pastors and so forth that is placed in the church all for the perfecting of the church to get the people to have faith. Amen? To get the people to have faith in his finished work at Calvary. That's our goal. When we come here, it's not talking about our life. We come here without coming joking. No. We come here to build your faith for you to know one day, one man came, died on Calvary for you and me. Let's build your faith on what happened to the Calvary. Amen. That one, you start walking on the, 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 on the street, you know that one day I'll go where I came from. Everything that's happening now, my brother, my sister, we are not, in this flesh, we are not secure. In this flesh, we are not secure. We are secure in our soul. Amen. The prophet said, God sent his angel to protect the word. The word is not in your flesh. Amen. The word is in your soul. God protected the soul. Reason of myself, I'm not afraid about what is going on. Children of God cannot be afraid on what is going on. Because now we don't know where it can come. We don't know. We, can, we don't know. When is it going to finish? We don't know. What is important is your soul. If you die today, where will we go? 
That's what is very, very important. Amen. You are walking. You don't know what's going to happen. Somebody can hit you. You don't know. Like we are here. Boo! Oh, 50 people have died. Oh, you, know, you don't hear that? You, don't, you never hear those things? There are people that were praying somewhere, or they were working, or in school. You never hear those things? What is very important is your soul. The perfection of your soul. That's what is very important. Amen. Okay, now let's continue. The prophet said this. I'll, go, I'll give you the quote. Let me just make my, what I, I, I want to say here. Like I said before, the ministers are here to build your faith. For you to know, it's one person who died at Calvary. That's Jesus Christ. Amen? But what we have seen today, what we have seen today is barrier everywhere. This church doesn't, that one, they don't fellowship. This brother, with that one, they don't fellowship. Why those things? If God is in you, God is in me, why those things? Those things cannot be mentioned among the Christian. The problem today is what? Some pastors, they are afraid. Because somebody will come and then preach something that they don't believe. It's not a problem. In this church, I know what Brother Maron said. He said, we are not afraid. If you want to come preach, preach. Because we know the standard where we are. It's not everything I'm preaching you here that you'll accept it. Even me, myself. Even the local ministers. It's not everything we say here that you accept it, right? It's only if it's in the message. That's our stand. It's not because I'm a minister. I come here, I start preaching, preaching, and they say, amen, 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 amen. No. In this church, we don't believe that. In, church, in this church, we believe everything you said must be in the message. If it's in the message, we say, amen, we move forward. Your opinion is your opinion. Amen. Is what we believe here. With that stand, with that stand, can we be afraid? If you hear about a Peter travel went somewhere, can you be afraid? We cannot be afraid. Even your children. You cannot be afraid with your children if you have uh, uh, trained them or educated them well. When you go somewhere, don't start jumping on the sofa. You, you, you know. Your children, they don't jump on the sofa. If you come to my house, my house, are you going to be afraid? Or if I say, brother, send your children to my house, are you going to be afraid? No, because you know your children, how they behave. But if you don't have that stand, you will you be afraid. Oh, brother, I think I'll be, I'll be with them. I want to be there with them. And then what do you do? If just I see you guys jumping on the sofa, next time you don't go anymore. You believe? Yes. And you start watching them. You are not fellowshipping because you know the behavior of your, tree, your children. But here we are not like that. You just can't preach. You want to preach? Come preach. After preaching, you see our people, they'll follow you. They'll not leave you go. <laughs> Amen. Even ourselves, when we come preach here, it's not a joke. I know. You say something, I know they will come after me. The deacon, they will come after me. The brother, they will come after me. Make me more pressure for nothing if I can just stay on what Malachi 4 says. Amen. Amen. The big statement, we need to be very, very careful. Amen. We believe that. So in the church, let us work together for the perfection. I believe that in the church, is not by, uh, 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 by chance or by us that God put ministers in the church. I believe that in the church, for the perfection of the bride, the minister needs to preach. Right. It's what I believe. It's what Brother Marion said here. It's what I believe Brother Marion said here. Hey, Amen. This is when I came here, I joined this church, he gave me the pulpit. Even when the minister came here, they gave me the pulpit. Why? Because togetherness. The same thing is not here. We need to start, continue working together. For what? For the perfection. Amen? Nobody is greater than other. No. Nobody is bigger than another one. No. 
Everybody will work for one goal. What is the goal? Is the perfection of the bride. Full stop. Be a pastor or not to be a pastor, be an associate or not. Oh, we are here for what? To perfect the bride. Full stop. Amen. So, now, let's go to the message that was preached in 53-06-01, paragraph 15. Before you put that one, let me say, say something here. Because we know in the church, we have ministers, we have gifts. Those who want to perfect the bride, right? Now, you see some people, they will go, ask God. God, I want you to be a minister. God, I want to have this. No, if God did not give you the ministry, he did not give you the ministry. But everybody has a ministry. Right. Everybody is not only preaching. No, everybody. The prophet says everybody has a ministry. Amen. Even to clap your hand is a ministry. Even to sing is a ministry. To sweep the floor is a ministry. The ministry is a work. Full stop. Because only ministry, oh no, but I, you are not preaching. No, everybody have a ministry. Amen. 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 Okay, so everybody is in a position. Amen. So let's read that one. Okay, I notice. In the scripture, the way it money was the prophet Balaam who sold. Yes, go, continue going. I think we need to go somewhere. Just save money. No, go back. No, no, no. Uh, let me see why not here. No. Let me see. Go to. Go to. God provided. God provided way of healing. Fifty four zero seven nineteen. Let's go to that one. See. So let's go. Let's go to the beginning. Let the paragraph three. Right. Okay. Okay. Now I think it's down, but let's just go there. Because why not here? Let's go down. I am 45 years old, April, and I have seen vision since then. One of the first things I can remember, I seem strange, but I remember when I was yet crawling in my days when baby was crawling, they had long dresses. And I remember mother and a little woman walked in my dresses and I was crying on an old coming floor. Well, I think it's down. Okay, there. Okay. Gift and calling. Gift and calling are without repentance. Those things are first given of God. Amen? Then offices is set in the church by God. It's not anybody who said the offices. It's God himself who set it in the church. Amen. True men. Because we cannot see God here coming and saying, Brother Peter, you are this and that. No. Brother Mala, you are this and that. No. True men. Amen. Now, he said this. And in my opinion, we take the opinion of the prophet, okay? Don't take my opinion, but we take the opinion of all the prophet. There is where so many of this day has made a mistake. When we say, now, I will go over and seek for God to make me this. Amen? Amen. Because this brother is a preacher. Because that brother has a gift of this and that. Me also, I'm going to God so God can make me this. It's late. <laughs> Amen? So, he said this. You cannot do that. 
See? You are what you are by grace. Nothing that you can do within yourself. God gives. It's God who gives you who you are. It's God. Not any man. Amen? Okay. Now you say this. God has set in the church apostles, teachers, and prophets. Is that right? Amen. God has set in the church for the perfecting. So, not the bishop has them. Or the elder has. Or someone else. But God has. And they are those offices as put in the church. To do what? What are we talking about? Amen. Now, the problem today is this. Let's go question and answer. When you are looking at that, that one, and then I will make the comment. Question and answer number three, 640830 in the morning. The problem today is not the tape. The problem today is not the preaching from the ministers. Okay? You can put the tape every day, every day. But if you don't believe the tape, zero. Amen? The problem is not the minister. They can preach 24 hours. But if you don't believe, zero. Hey. Uh, question and answer 6408 Morning. Yes. We go to E2218. So when I'm making some comment, I'm giving you time to project. As soon as you project, and then we read it over there. Okay, let's read here. Let it read here. Everyone must have an experience. Okay? Not at the experience of your father. Doesn't work. Yourself. Look here. Your children cannot go in on no other way but the same way you do. We parents, we have the responsibility to live the word of God. Because if you go the way God wants you to, because they, they don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. But they listen, they watch us the way we do things. Amen? They watch the way we do things. We remember the prayer of the little boy, the ABC. You are just praying. He, does, he said that I was watching my mother the way my mother was praying. Right? Mm -hmm. The same thing like us. When we go, what are we going to leave behind? Okay? This we are talking about the perfection. If you are a perfected man, the way you live, your children also they will follow. It's our responsibility as parents. Let's live right. And then our children, they will follow us. Amen? Let's continue. They are going to be born again. There is no grandchildren in the kingdom of God. They are all children. Oh, I am the pastor. I am the this and that. I am the old person here. No. Over there is only the children of God. All of us, we are children over there. Okay? They must have it. Must have an experience with God to go in. Just the same as you. Now I hope I can get this. It is. Now go. This is what I want now here. Right. What do I want that one? I want this one. Hey, where are you going? Yeah. I want that one. Daily beloved. Let's see. About the scripture. That was the question, brother, brother, prophet. About the scripture of Ephesians 4 11. Do we all, do we get all the perfecting of saints? Through the tapes. Amen. <laughs> or should we, or should we be here where the gifts of the Spirit are operating and the different offices of the church to help perfect us? I'm here to helping you, okay, to be perfected. Is the tape or let's continue. Our hearts have believed all word of the Lord. You can play tapes. You can listen to the preacher. The good one, the good one. My brother, if you don't have the all word in you, 
zero. There is no perfection. Because Jesus Christ is not half. Jesus Christ is full. Take the fullness of the word of God in you. That one, you can say, I am perfected. If you fill your selection, oh, this one, no, this one, no. Yes, continue saying this one, no, this one, no. Yes, you continue. Me and my house, we say yes to all the prophet said. Amen. My family, are you saying amen? amen. You are my family. Amen. Don't think that I'm talking to Exo. I'm talking to you. Amen. Me and my family, we take all the prophet said, and we say amen. amen. We move forward. Amen. Now the prophet said, I'm almost, I'm going there. Okay, I said like 10 minutes. All those things lead, there are three things that lead to the perfection. You know God likes perfection. Number seven is a perfect, is a perfection. God likes that number. That number, God likes it. What that leads you to that number? Three steps. Justification. Sanctification and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If you jump one, you could go through those steps. Are you justified? Are you sanctified? You do receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Then you can talk about the perfection. Hallelujah. Then you can talk about the perfection. To go to heaven is only, only, the prophet said, only perfect people are going there. Only perfect people that are going there. That perfect people are the people that they believe the fullness of the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Those who they believe the fullness. I play tips. Yes. Everybody can play tapes. I listen to the preacher. Everybody can listen to the preacher. But on top of that, do you believe? I play tape and I believe the tapes. I believe in the ministry of the tape. I believe. And people, they need to see that I really, really believe on the tapes. It's not I'm saying something else and I act also differently. No. Need to match what I said and it's what I believe. It's not because I'm in the church, I say something to please people. But when I'm in a secret, I do whatever I want to do. That shows that the word of God is not in you. Hey, Amen. Project us. Things that are to be. 651205, paragraph 62. We need to be perfect. Okay, let's read here. Oh, but the other one is called my father's house. I will go and prepare a place for you. That's the promise. Every day you are coming to church, for what? Every day you are praying, for what? Listening to the tape, for what? Because there is a promise. Why are we not hating others? Why are we not arming others? Why are we not fighting others? Because there is a promise. Not for me to stay in this earth. It's for me to go where I came from. Amen. And then he's saying, the, because Jesus Christ himself went to prepare a place. A place for you. Take you out of this pest house. This one. Pest house. My brother, you never seen somebody who's sick. You never see somebody who's sick. That you see the flesh is going day by day. Day by day. The way the person was 180 pounds. Tomorrow they come 175. 
another day 160. It's going down like that until the person reached 30 pounds. This one. Why are we posting? This one. Why can you argue your brother? This one. Why can you say, brother, I love you? Just this because of this one? Let be perfect. Let go where there is no sickness. There is no malice. Let's read here. That's the role of Jesus Christ. That's what I'm telling you this morning. My message is to encourage you that there is a place we are going. And that place, you need to be perfect. If you are not perfect, you are not going. You are wasting your time putting your guys coming here every day saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. Why you don't? You are not going. Better suffer. Better don't have money. Your money finished to buy guys to come here to support the church. And you know that you have a reward for you to go to heaven. I would have preferred don't have anything to eat in my house. But come to church. The prophet said, the good place for you to die is in the church. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's experience that. My brother, I'm not coming, I'm sick. No, you don't believe? Come to church. We pray for you. It's not only the ministers. Not only the deacons. One of us here can pray for you. Come to church. Any problem you have, come to church. Amen. Oh, I will listen to the tape. That's fine. But the motive for you to stay home, was it, was it to listen to the tape? No. Because we are sick. If you are sick, come to church. How are we going to know that God works? How? Let's have sick people. Let's pray for them. Have problem, and then see if God will not deliver you. But if you never had a problem, how are you going to say that you have that God? I'm not saying go look at the problem. I'm not saying that. But if the problem comes, look, Malachi 3 say what? Put me what? Try me. It's God himself who said that. Malachi 3. But before you try God, tight. Ah. Tight is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tight is there. Before you try God. <laughs> Amen. Just don't go, God, I'm your son. You say this. Yes, he will listen to you. You do follow what I said. He said, put your tight and then try me. If I will not open the door of heaven to bless you. Your blessing, yourself. My brother, don't think because you have a car, don't think because you have a house, that's the blessing. Maybe you have more. Maybe you have more. But because you have one car, a used car, an old house, you think that that's finished. No. Maybe new cars is coming. Maybe the new house is coming. But because you don't follow the word of God, God said, no, 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 until you pay this. Until he does this, and then I'll open the, the door and then to bless him. Because it's the word of God. In this country, if you just you walk, you are serious. You are good, right? But it's not end there. You have more and more protection. This, 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 you have it. If you follow what God said, let's continue. You say, Amen. There you are. Take you out of this old earthly best house, is going to prepare a place, a perfect place, where no evil exists. Amen. Look the place we are going. Evil. No evil. No sickness. No old age. My brother, prophet said 125. You see the, you work in the morning, you see this one. You say no, you start walking from, you, you, every day, you start burning. Every day, you start burning. The prophet say, if you see the gray head, the gray hair, you see people, the symmetry, yourself, you are breathing, that means that you are approaching where? To? Are you not breathing? You, I have the gray hair now. 
I never see uh, ambulance. We saw them, right? Yeah. That shows that you are going there. But now I need to prepare myself. I am going there, yes. I have some problem, yes. But I need to make sure that place is a perfect place. For me to go to that place, I need to be a perfect, I need to be perfected. The one who perfected me is the word of God. Is a perfect place calling you to that perfection. And you have to be perfect to get there. I have a problem with my brother. I have a problem with my wife. I have a, my brother, resolve that problem now. Resolve it now. God is giving you time because it did not finish with you. If I always tell people, the day I'll pass, God finish with me. As soon as I'm still in this life, I have some problem to fix. Let's get that chance. Let's get that opportunity to fix our problems. Because there is a heaven ahead. Amen. To God, they need to be perfected not by a minister. You need to be perfected by the word of God. That in, we have today's Malachi 4 message. He said it here. Therefore, perfect. He said, okay. Jesus said, be ye perfect. Jesus Christ said, be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father in heaven is perfect. That's Matthew 5. Your father in heaven is perfect. You cannot go to heaven if you are not perfect. Right. There will be conflict over there. The same nature that your God has, you should have the same nature. That's the word of God. That's the perfection. And then you get in there because God himself is perfect. Hallelujah. You have to stand and be married to a perfect son of God. Hallelujah. And you must be a perfect bride. Amen. Show me your wife. I will tell you who you are. Your wife wear pants. That means that you are a sissy. You have a feminine spirit. Amen. You will be judged for that. The prophet said, God will, let, will not let it go. You let your wife at home wear the way she wants to wear is your responsibility. And you want to go to heaven, right? If you want to go to heaven, let us see your husband. Let us see your children. Let us see your wife. How you hold your house. How you manage your house. Let young one learn from you. We are going to heaven. Amen. Amen. Word of God which is the water of separation that washes us from our sins. Amen. Amen. That is right. The blood of Jesus Christ. Think of it. The dripping bloody word. Amen. The blood. The word of God. Bleeding blood to wash the bride in. Amen. Yes. She stand perfect. Virgin. An adulterant. She never sinned in the first place. Amen. She was Trap it into it. See, there is the Father's house that is going to prepare for you and me. Now, when you receive Jesus Christ in you, no more sin. God will not see that. There's a quote because I'm, now I'm, I'm closing now. When God sees you, He doesn't see what you have done. Why? Number one, you repent yourself. Because you, the prophet say you need to do the total repentance. Total repentance and honest repentance. Don't hide something. Bring all things to God, not to the pastor, not to anybody, to bishop, to God himself. God, I surrender all to you. I am a sinner. God, forgive me what I have done. God will take act of that. He will give you the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit will lead you. When God sees you, he doesn't see any more your sins. He sees what the blood of Jesus Christ in you. That's why we say a believer doesn't sin. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus Christ, the word in you, when God sees, sees that word, he doesn't see you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Perfect man. 
you and me. Let be perfected by the word of God. God bless you. We like, God is good, eh? I did not finish my preaching. Like Papa said last time, if we continue talking about this message, we will not finish. I have 13 pages I prepare. I don't talk four pages. But I know God is sovereign. What God wants you to receive is what I said. What I did not say, you go yourself, listen to the tape, the perfection. Prophet preach some places, and then God will bless you. Amen? Amen. Okay, so let me make one thing here. Like you know, I always tell you, I don't know how to sing, but I would like the song leader to help me with this song, 477. Yeah. Uh, I have decided to follow Jesus Christ. Did you decide to follow Jesus Christ? Did you decide to follow Jesus Christ? Let's pray for that. that I think it's an illness or whatever. <laughs> People that don't hear the first time here. And we have Mike. And we, <laughs> and we have Mike. Have you decided to follow Jesus Christ? Amen. 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 God bless you. Don't stop somewhere. It's your decision. The marriage is decision. Amen. The prophet said that. The marriage is a decision. Is there, is there will be a time where you make a decision that I love him. I love her until death. Because we don't believe on divorce. You believe on divorce here? You believe on polygamy here? Say amen so I know that you don't believe on that. Yeah, okay, God bless you. I already finished my preaching, so we just sing and then uh, I love you, God bless you too. God bless you so much for your years. Make your decision. I have decided, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no, 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 no turning back. The cross before. Don't go back. 
we have decided to follow Jesus Christ. We have decided to follow the message of the hour. Amen. Let me read one as you are standing. What do you have? In the message, the perfection, paragraph 78, the prophet said this. Listen very carefully. I trust tonight or this afternoon, friend of mine, while we are here at this great crucial moment now, when decisions must be made, after hearing this story, what was the story? The Calvary story. Okay? You might have never heard it before, but you can't go out one of those doors, the same person you came in. You must go out better or worse. Hello, lawyer? Who want to go out worse? All of us want to go out better. Perfect ourselves by the word of God. He goes down, 83, saying, That was Calvary. It's not a place to sell flowers or a little place to do this or that. It was a place where God and man were reconciled. It was a place where peace and perfect safety was brought to mankind. Hallelujah. That's the God we save. What is your decision? You want to go out west? Or you want to go out blessed? You want to go change the way the God was preached to you? You have something to make right, make it right. Because one day, we go to the rapture. Where we belong to our place. Amen. Let's bow our head. I call Papa and your brother, Pastor Joseph, to come. Commit us to the hand of God. I want to see my Jesus one day. I want to see my Jesus one day. Sing that song. Shall we have our head bow as we pray? Lord Jesus, your word has come forth. And it's every one of us have heard the one that you give your preacher to taught us again from the word of the Lord. That no one goes to heaven without being perfected. Mm. And our perfection is in the Lord, Amen. which is the word. Mm. Like I used to say, Malachi Paul is nothing but Christ revealed to us in this day. Mm. Help us, Lord, Father, Master, never to go out worst, but always go better anytime we come in your presence. So that we go and act upon those things that we have had. We have come since morning. Take our time, listen to you from the Sunday school, to the preaching of the word, to the song we sing. You said we must be where who we are. If you don't believe it, you go out and go your own. Leave those who believe it to believe it. But if you have come to believe it, Believe it in totality. Amen. That is what you ask for. Mm. Give us grace, Lord. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do it except from you. Mm -hmm. Release your grace to every one of us. The future man that has preached, I pray and I believe, you renew his strength. Mm -hmm. Raise the horn of his ministry, prepare the other belonging to him. Every one of us here this afternoon, we have one thing or the other, trust you for, prepare it for us. Our, our assurance is that anytime we are come, Anytime you come, you will surely take us home in Jesus' name. Mm. See us through your word. See us through the blood. Help us to live by your word and your word alone. Mm. Take glory in all the matter. Vindicate yourself. I know many didn't get what the preacher was saying. That don't you hear that now as we are seen, it's here, standing, anything can happen. Mm. That is why we should be perfected and ready. Mm. May God prepare us, Lord. Amen. May your coming gladness our hearts. Mm. Anything outside of that, perfect every time you to us. Keep us in line with your word. Until you come, we want to find ourselves in your fellowship. Let it be so, Lord, as we pray and believe in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen. And the church say, Amen. God bless you.